to use HDR files the, that you create with the Recall Theta, you're first going to need to take 12 or 3 to 12 bracketed shots. You can use the official mobile app for this. You don't have to buy additional software. Uh, once you have the 12 images at different light exposures, then connect your Recall Theta with a USB cable. Download, it to your, download all the files to your computer, and then use free software. We're going to show you how to use Luminance HDR to create a single HDR file from all 12 separate images. That single file will have all the light information that you need for your scene. Once you have that file, you can open up Autodesk Maya, create a SkyDome light, attach the HDR file to the light, that will provide all the reflection and light information for your scene. You'll have a lot of detail in there. These are the 12 shutter speed settings that I use to take 12 separate images with different uh, light exposures. I have it locked in ISO 64. You can set whatever settings you want to. Uh, the main point is that I'm using the official Ricoh mobile app on my Google Pixel 2 phone. You can use any phone. And with, with one button press on the mobile app, I'm taking all 12 images. So I'm not taking an image, doing the set for the shutter speed, and then taking another image. You pre-configure the mobile app prior to, the, to going on to your, your scene with all 12 light information. So that when you go to the scene, you just put the camera up on your tripod or wherever you want it in the scene. You get out of it you press the button on the mobile app, it'll take all 12 images. Then you go on to your next scene. Other than Autodesk Maya, which is beautiful software, it's excellent, but pretty pricey. Um, so if you have that, you're, you're good. You don't need to actually buy anything else. Um, what I'm using is the free Rico mobile app. I'm using it on my Pixel. You could use it on iPhone, or any other Android device. The app is free. Uh, then I'm using open source software, Luminance HDR, uh, for, for this demonstration. Although Pict Picture Not, which is also free, does work, as well as Photoshop, you can create the HDR uh, file within that as well, too. Once you connect the Rico Theta V to your computer with a USB cable, you can just drag and drop it onto your uh, into a folder so that you can work on it you're going to have 12 pictures each is going to have different uh, exposure i'm using luminance hdr It loaded all 12 images. I'm taking the default settings. I'm just going to select Save As. You can change it to a, a different file format. Um, they'll basically work pretty similarly. I'm just going to use the Open EXR format. Save the file. The file is now here. If you look at it, it's a single file that's 132 megabytes. It's a type EXR. Open up Maya, new project. Just add a standard plane onto it and then resize the plane.
add a sphere. With the sphere selected, go to the attribute editor, the polysphere, make the sphere smoother. So increase the subdivision and increase the subdivision height. I have it maxed out at 50. Go to the Arnold tab and create an area light. Move the light out so it can shine on the sphere. Make it a little bigger. Rotate it so it's pointing down. If you do a test render, it will be dark. You can go into the attributes editor and then increase the exposure so you can at least see the sphere. Create some basic materials in Hypershade. So I'm at the Arnold tab now, this um, blue icon here, click on Hypershade. It'll open up the, the Hypershader window. AI standard surface. So within Hypershade, then go to Arnold, Shader, surface I'm right here in the lower left hand then look for AI standard surface so I've selected the AI standard surface now just going to call it ground I'm here on the right hand panel So now I have my material here. So if you middle click on your mouse, you can drag it onto the ground. In the attributes editor, you can verify that the ground is attached to the plane that you created earlier. Create another AI standard surface, very similar to the one you just created. Let's call this one shiny. We're going to make it shiny for the, the sphere and attach it to the sphere. On the right hand panel under the specular section, you want to make sure the weight it's high and the roughness is low so it will be nice and shiny we now have a shiny surface that we're going to use the middle button on the mouse and drag it onto the sphere So if we do a test render, the sphere should look 
so much shiny. Add a Skydome light. So I'm on the Arnold tab, and then I have these icons here. One of them says Create Skydome Light. I'm going to click it. I've created the Skydome Light. So the Skydome Light is just this giant sphere that goes around everything else. Now the exciting part, if you, with the Skydome Light selected, it's green, you can see the green grid. Also in the outliner panel here, you could just select it if you don't have it already selected. So the exciting part is the attribute editor under color, this is checkbox, click on the checkbox and it opens up another panel, um, one of which is this file. After you select the f that file icon, you'll have this folder icon here for image name. Click it, uh, click on it. Once you click on the the folder icon, you'll open up a file browser, and from within the file browser, you'll be able to navigate to the place where you saved the EXR file or HDR file that, that you can use now for your, your Sky, Sky Dome. It's gonna look like a standard rectangle image, but it'll have all the light information in it. So it's going to load onto the Sky Dome, and you'll see it as a standard equi rectangular image that, that you used. Now if you go into the Sky Dome light shape, the attribute editor under visibility, there's diffuse and specular. So if you want to use it for reflection only, you can take down the diffuse and leave the specular, which is the reflection, up high. Let's check out the area light. I'm going to take it down. On the specular of the area light. Try to render it. So it's looking pretty good. You have a nice mirrored ball. Let's see. with some nice reflections on it. Thanks. So the light looks pretty good for my model. But because you have all the information for the all the reflections, you can uh, actually alter the, the file settings as well too. With the Sky Dome light selected, over here on the right hand panel, there's a tab for file. Then under the, the file, you're now dealing with the the HDR file here, right? So 
you could go, for example, to color balance, although my exposure is looking pretty good. You could pump that thing up if you want it to. You now have a very bright uh, reflection there. So within a few minutes, you can get a fairly good scene with the reflection and the lights that you want for your model and uh, just test it out right there. If you have any comments or questions, please join theta360.guide and drop us a note. Even if it's completely working, you just built something exciting, would love to see it. See you online.